In the night with an encounter that gives cops a bad name. An elderly man taken down and shocked with a taser. It's an incident that has a Victoria police officer under investigation tonight. You first saw that video and heard from the elderly man on our newscast last night at 10 o'clock. Well, today we made it our mission to get answers from the Victoria Police Department. Local 2 investigator Bill Spencer is live in Victoria with what he just found out from police. Bill? Bill and Dominique, we were first to show you this explosive police car video exclusively on, X, on uh, uh, Local 2 News last night at 10 o'clock. And we have just found out from the police chief here in Victoria that there are now two separate investigations into the actions of this officer. One, a criminal investigation being conducted by the Texas Rangers, and two, an internal investigation aimed at dissecting exactly what this officer did last Thursday morning when he apprehended a 76-year-old man over an expired inspection sticker. It's video that's painful to watch, showing a 23-year-old muscled-up Victoria cop throwing a 76-year-old man onto the hood of a police car, then tackling him to the ground, and then shooting him with a taser gun twice. Pete Vasquez still has the taser burns on his chest right above his heart. I turned around and he pulled that taser, that taser and, and, and shot me with it, you know. And he looked like he's joined it doing that, you know. This is the officer in question, Nathaniel Robinson of the Victoria Police Department. He is now under investigation for using excessive force and could even face criminal charges. In Victoria, it seems everyone has either seen the video or read the newspaper, and outrage is soaring. I, I don't see any reason for tasing a 76 year old man. It's very wrong, you know, because somebody, it's an older man, you know, and a younger police, you know. I thought, oh, I mean, that's sad for an elderly person like that. I mean, there was no reason for it. Standing just five feet, five inches tall, Pete Vasquez has not decided if he will sue the police department or not. He is sure, however, he wants that police officer off the force. Do you think this man should be a police officer? I don't think so. Not the way he acted. Uh, he don't have any business wearing a badge or carrying a gun. Now, the local police chief, J.J. Craig, has just announced he will hold a major press conference about all of this after 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Of course, we will be here and bring you the very latest. As for the police officer, Nathaniel Robinson, he has been placed on, administ uh, he has been placed on supervisory duty. Live in Victoria, Bill Spencer, KPRC, Local 2. Now, after this tasing incident, Pete Vasquez was handcuffed and then driven to a local hospital in the back of a police car. He was never charged or cited for doing anything wrong.